makes the slides fly, we're officially in the Aces Finals. Our opponents, Team Mugshot and Team Black Baron. The rules in the finals are a bit different than normal. Whoever takes out the defending champ gets the title. Hear that, boys? It's all about taking down the Baron. Our only real competition will be Mugshot himself. We need to remove him from the competition. Here's the plan. I'll challenge him to a fist fight out in the town square. Sly, you find and lure Inspector Fox to the same place. When the two meet, the sparks are sure to fly. With some luck, the big guy will get carted off to jail, and we'll have clear skies for the final. However, the Baron won't be so easy to deal with. He commands an enormous team of flyers and has been known to bring in a squad of blimp gunships when things look grim. The answer to our problem isn't obvious, although it is potent. Behold, Lupus Gigantormus. I'll drug the beast so that the Guru will be able to ride it and take out some of the local guards, who also serve as the Baron's pilots. Obviously, the fewer enemy pilots Sly has to deal with in the finals, the better. Next, I'll hack into the aircraft control tower. If successful, I'll be able to intercept any messages the Baron might send to his gunships. All right, team, we've got all night to prepare. If we take this thing, it'll mean more than a trophy. Penelope is sure to join our gang. After her stellar work defending our hangar, I'm sure we'd all agree that she's a prime recruit. Welp, you're ready for one of the best missions in the entire game series in a hot second here. So, yeah, looks like these all start out as Benley ones. It would seem Holland Operation Day 2. Ah, so that upgrade that we got earlier was the extra height upgrade. Even though it says that it's for hovering, Benley, with his wheelchair, now gets a quadruple jump. So he can go pretty high with his wheelchair now. We've got Beauty and the Beast, Giant Wolf Massacre, and I guess the Control Tower one isn't available yet. So, this is this mission right over here. It, oh, but you have something. <laughs> you have something. What do you have? What is it? Tell me. A gold pocket watch. Sweet. Row, row. So yeah, we can just kind of go up onto any roof. It's time we dealt with Mugshot. We can't risk him taking down the Baron before you in the finals. Not to mention he deserves a little payback for what he did to our aircraft hangar. True, true. Since Mugshot's assault, the Baron has been keeping an eye on him. We can't fight him out in the open for risk of getting disqualified. Thankfully, Inspector Fox is out in the field looking for us. I hear you. We'll set them against each other. Mugshot is an international criminal, after all. Carmelita won't be able to resist. My only concern is for Inspector Fox's safety. Oh, don't worry about her. She's more than a match for a meathead like Mugshot. Okay, I'll pick a fight with Mugshot and bait him into meeting in the town square for our rumble. You do that. I'll get Carmelita's attention and lead her back here to the same place. Agreed. I've got to hand it to you, Benley. This is a really underhanded plan. Why, thank you. I'm feeling pretty good about it. So yeah, we literally have the guy in the wheelchair go try to pick a fight with the big muscular dude. Try to bait him into a fist fight out of the town square. This game is magical. Well then. So, I believe he's just around the cor Oh, he's just over there. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go pick a fight. How about... This has got to be one of the best branching dialogue things. Well, not branching, but you know what I mean. I'll beat it, twerp. The Black Baron's been giving me the grill since that event in your hangar. Perhaps you'd like to take out some frustration by engaging in a physical battle with me outside in the town square. No way. I'm being watched here. That, and it wouldn't feel right pounding a four-eyed runt in a wheelchair. 
I've got to bait him into a fight. Well, how about maybe I should insult his record versus the Cooper gang? I'm sure you wouldn't win in the fight anyway. You've got such a long, sad history of losing to the Cooper gang. I could whip your whole gang with one arm if you jerks would sit still. Look at these arms. I'm unstoppable. Maybe I should insult his breath. My head is spitting from your breath. What, do you gargle with raw sewage every night before bed? Yeah, yeah, right. I find a nice tang to my breath helps maintain my poisonal space. Maybe I should insult his mental faculties. Do you even know what I'm saying to you? Or are you too stupid to understand the words coming in through your ear holes? What? What's an ear hole? Talk sense, why don't you? <laughs> I love how you insult his intelligence and he doesn't get it. That is so good. Maybe I should insult his appearance. You know, I've been thinking about your appearance. Look. If you don't got nothing to say nice, then don't say nothing at all. Get it? What? Ain't got no sassy comments, smart guy? Oh, I get it. You got nothing nice to say, so you're keeping quiet. That's real cute. You really got nothing nice to say? That's cold. <laughs> this game is so good. You really got nothing nice to say? That's cold. So, remember how I said that sometime during this episode was the biggest moment in the entire series of how the heck is this an everyone 10 and up game? Well. Your mother was a broken down tub of junk with more gentleman callers than the operator. <laughs> Nobody talks that way about my mother. Nobody. Okay, look, oh, look at man. that runt. Looks like you're going to get broken down even more. Town <laughs> square, five minutes. Please don't be late. Again. <laughs> this... Again, this game is... Everyone 10 and up, by the way. ESRB, everyone 10 and up. <laughs> is what this game is. Oh, what a game. Okay, oh, shot is on wow. Oh, man, normally you saw this as a joke, but this time you mean it. This game is great. This game is so good. I love this game so much. That Bentley just murdered him. Yep. Sure seems is like... I love how you can insult, like, everything about him, but the moment you talk about his mother, he's like, that's it. I mean, that was a freaking insane comment from Bentley. I wonder who's responsible for that. Like, who wrote the script? And who at the ESRB, like, didn't notice it or didn't care? And is like, eh, kids won't understand it anyway. So, like, who cares? Jeez. Yeah, this... That, that right there is probably single-handedly the biggest instance in the entire Sly series of how the heck is this an everyone 10 and up game. Like, that, that's probably going to be the greatest instance we'll ever see of that, because my goodness. Um, hi! Oh, hi there. Hey, Inspector Fox. Still looking for a date to the prom? Welp! So that line probably wasn't in their rating video sessions? Maybe. I mean, it is the right option, though. So you have to do that in order to progress is the thing, though. Like, so you can't progress the story without getting that line because that's, you know, the one right option and such, while all the other ones are the wrong options, though. The appearance one is pretty good as well. Look, if you don't got nothing nice to say... Whoa, that was a glitchy effect. Then don't say anything at all. Got it? And then Bentley just stays silent for, like, a solid minute. Okay. If only Sly could jump that high in gameplay. Blast it, Sly! Why run? Why not face me like a real man? <laughs> he walks on his arms. Mess with me? That little punk is gonna eat dice. Hey! You're that cop hag that busted me back in Mesa City! Mugshot. 
alias Two-Gun Tony, also known as Meathead Mugshot. Seven foot, three inches, 324 pounds, wanted in seven countries with 13 outstanding warrants for your arrest. And yes, I'm that cob hag that put you away back in Mesa. Well, wise guy, lady, feel like going for another shot at the title? It's my duty to put you behind bars. That, and I enjoy making tough guys cry like the stupid babies they really are. I ain't no stupid baby! So, just like in episode one, we have another Carmelita gameplay bit. Except this time, we get to use her to fight one of the main bosses of the first game. Whoa, the camera- Oh, I don't know why the freaking camera controls get inverted just for the Carmelita bits. Where did this guy come from? How about- Hey, you. How about you just- No. Be gone. What are you doing here? Get off my roof! I'm trying to snipe from up here. Leave me alone! My goodness. Leave me alone. Thank you. My good. Yeah, the camera controls get inverted just for this. Maybe because I changed my camera controls around for the main game and that doesn't count for like this. So like left is right and right is left and ah! And she can double jump after the mega jump, which is certainly something. So she can gain a lot of height. He likes throwing bombs and such, doesn't he? How about you just... Whoa. Whoa. No. What are you doing here? Stop. Get. Be gone. Oi. Oh, these, these guys are just chilling on the roofs and stuff. I mean, cool. Oh, health thing. I will take the health thing. Thank you. Um, hi. We're, he's just right here. Okay, well. He's <laughs> just chucking bombs up here now. Okay. A smack? Uh-oh. Whoa! Ah! My camera is not working the way that I wish it would. Whoa! Crap. I cannot move this camera the way that I- There we go, Jeebus. My goodness, I keep turning the camera the wrong way by accident. Okay. This is perfectly fine. Yeah, how about you don't do that, actually? Smack. Stab. Camera keeps going the wrong way that I intended to. Stamp. Stamp that this instant, please. Stamp. Stamp. Love the weird chemistry of Carmelina and Cooper. It's so good, isn't it? Well, boop. I'm mother. That you. I'm sorry. I didn't know they was yours. Ugh. Booking this idiot will take all night. Oh, well, I'm sure Cooper won't make his move anytime soon. So, yeah, in the Sly series, you get Mugshot put behind bars twice. Not once, but twice. So, there's the second time. That's the last time we'll be seeing him. So, time to go do some other things. But that's genuinely got to be, like, one of the best missions in the entire series. Want to know more to that story? What, between, like, with Mugshot? Or... Wait, what the hell stole? Wait, oh, with his mother. <laughs> what are you doing, my guy? <laughs> I'm high. You have something shiny. Can I has? Can I has, maybe? Boop. What do you have? What do you have? <laughs> what a way to go. Yep. Just sleep darted and then... <laughs> well, now it's time for the giant wolf massacre. Again. Yes, RP, everyone send it up. Aha! A perfect feral specimen of Lupus Gigantormus. So, let me get this straight again. You plan on stalking that thing, drugging it, putting the guru on board, and setting the two free to smash up the guards? An airtight plan, I agree, in simplicity itself. By channeling the <laughs> wild destruction housed in that bloodthirsty creature, we should be able to thin out the Black Baron's ranks, which, of course, means fewer enemy pilots flying against you in the finals. I'm all for evening the odds in our favor, but come on, this plan seems a little risky. Not at all. I've modified my sleep darts with heavy doses of skunk bulb. It should be enough to pacify the beast, provided he doesn't catch wind of me first. 
All right, that sounds okay. You can hang back and shoot him at a distance. Uh, well, given the weight of the darts, I'll need to sneak up behind him and take a shot within a few meters. Meters? Quit trying to freak me out and put the guru on the binocucom. After I put the wolf to sleep, it'll be up to you. Fawara, hoja. Thanks, Guru. You always know just what to say. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, this game, though. Well. Well. So, I know from playing this in the past that you need to be, like, really, really, really close for this to count. Like, this close would not be enough, I don't think. Your dart is out of range. What do you mean that was out of range? <laughs> So, yeah, you need to be very close. No impact. Get within a few meters behind the wolf, then fire. Otherwise, you were too far away to make the shot. You were too far away to make the shot. The range of closeness you have to be at. Too far away. You'll need to get close to make the shot count. The expectation of the range is absolutely absurd. He's caught your scent. Get out of there. Um... And we have to do this four times. Percent. Ha! No good. You need to be close in, behind the wall to make the shot. Whoa. No! No! He smells the darts. Run for I know it. he smells the. D That's a wall. <laughs> and right into the water. Well, yeah, this is one of the missions that I really struggled with as a kiddo. And it's because the range that you need to be at for this is, um, well, it's kind of absurd. So... Bullseye. That's one! Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there! <laughs> okay, thank goodness we are slightly faster than he is. Position is blown. Fall back. Yeah, I know, I realized. I realized this, it's fine. Okay, so we're at 104. God, you hated this part. Understandably so. I do feel like the rain should be a bit more forgiving. Whoa. Nice. That okay, now we go. Alright, now we got a little bit of a whole rhythm system here. Okay. Nice one, it's fine. Then. It's fine. It is completely fine. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Please just go after this guard instead. Go after him. Whoa! There's destruction happening over there. Welp. You'll have to get closer Can't reach you if you climb the base of the windmill. Hello, hello, Kariko. Welcome to the shenanigans. But, ah, oh, well, we just need one more shot anyway. So it doesn't matter at this point. Is the thing. Hi. Boop. Nice there we one, go. Big game hunter. The skunk bomb is kicking in. He's almost asleep. I feel like it should be at most three shots instead of four. Be able to possess the giant wolf now that he's out. So, yeah, that seems like the gold spot to fire when it comes to this mission, doesn't it? So, now... Bow down these thugs. You know, this is life now. I gotta actually go out and find guards, though. That's what we're gonna have to do. So this is the jump. Well, the guards don't even try to fight back. They just run. <laughs> well... This is life now. <laughs> I'm allergic to life now. My goodness. I don't know why I'm sneezing so much today. <laughs> Go on, come on. Get. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get him. I'm so bad at this freaking video game. There we go. There we got him. So the wolf has his own health bar there, it looks like. Yeah, it's a racial stare. Is that with a murderous rampage? Exactly. That's exactly what's going on here. I guess you could indeed say that. Whoa. Oh, come on. I guess you don't even need to attack necessarily. You can probably just... Oh, doesn't do as much damage though. Okay. Well, <laughs> hi friends. <laughs> well, well, we need to not bonk too many things. Oh, we missed. The bunny, come on, get. There we go. Yep. 
you know, across the whole Sly series, there's probably a lot of murder that happens. Probably. <laughs> oh my. Like, sometimes, sometimes when I'm playing a game like this, I sometimes feel like I'm potentially taking out more people than an Assassin's Creed game, you know? That's what it sometimes feels like. Oh, I missed! Get him! There we go. Ten fewer pilots in the finals tomorrow. So 15 total. We gotta do. I'm so bad at this. This is so much harder than I remember it being. What the? What? Okay. That was probably exactly as intended. To <laughs> whatever the heck that was. Just three more I'm glad that we somehow got to get out of whatever that situation was. Bonk. We're set. All right. So, your second last victim. Who's our last victim gonna be? Come on. There we go. Who is the last victim? That was strange. I've never seen that glitch before. And I have a lot of hours in this game for the past. Oh, is this gonna be our last victim? Oh. Is it gonna be you? Is it you? Yep. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. That should even the odds tomorrow in the finals. <laughs> This game. All right, so there's that mission. And then the wolf just like continues to exist around here. So now the final mission, Windmill Firewall. So there was technically one Bentley hacking level within Sly 1, and there was just like the one. In Sly 2, after about the midpoint of the game, they definitely bring it back with a little bit, with definitely much more emph emphasis. Not just a little bit, a lot of it. Where it became like a whole dedicated mini game kind of thing. And people liked it. They were like, hey, let's bring back Bentley's little hacking minigame thing. How do you plan to hack into the aircraft control tower? It's simple, really. The whole system is linked through computer nodes which monitor the power generated by the nearby windmills. Seriously? All the power around here comes from the local windmills? I thought they were just for looks. The control nodes tell a different story. How do you plan to get up there? It's pretty high. My turbo chair has been outfitted with an extra afterburner. Heights such as that are nothing to me. Yeah, because we bought the bought the power up thing, Rob. I do wish that they were just automatically obtained the things that you actually need to beat the story, rather than being things that you need coins for and stuff. But yeah, I don't know if it was this game or three that you can move the heads. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yourself, computer. I'm sorry, Zayano. No mercy. But. What do you mean, move the heads? How what? But yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Hacking 101. Hacker code linked to the right analog <laughs> stick. This well. This data stream looks protected. Boop. Mm, looks like so. I might need to transport the circular lockdown. Yeah, I did it already. I did the thing already. Some it's challenge. fine. Well. Boop. Yeah, hacker man. Leaked footage of the fixed version of Cyberpunk 2077 right here. Look at that, done. Another falls before my digital kung fu. Hi -ya, ya, ya, ya. Huh. When they were chatting the binoculars, the binocchi cop, you can move the sticks to wiggle their heads. That might have been just Sly 1. Maybe. Like, I can try in the next thing. It might have just been the first. I'm not sure. I was about to say, did my bomb not get set off? Also, we should now also have... Ah, uh, we also have the trigger bomb, which is nice, and alarm clock, if we want them. So, like... Whoops, wrong thing for Bob. So now we can literally... <laughs> have a bomb that we put down and detonate whenever we want, which is neato. So that is always handy. And they just won't notice this. Didn't mean to put that there. Did not quite mean to do so. We'll just blow it up like that. But yeah, so that's always neato. So we're going over here, I believe, right? Yeah. Cool. Well. Come, grasshopper. Kneel before the feet of the master. Kneel before the feet of the master. Well. Looks like they're going to put up a little fight this time. Well, maybe a little one. Whoop. I can probably just. Yeah. You can just brute force it. I'll take a bunch of damage for doing so. A digital black hole. A digital black hole. So yeah, I gotta free up the keys. 
what we gotta do. How about you guys just don't? How about you don't? I am bad at this. Holy crap. I am boosted. Take the thing. Take the key. Please. Oh, I rammed the free. Oh, wow. I'm Looks bad. Like going to put up a little fight this time. I am so bad. My goodness. Well, we can always play it a little bit safer and take out these dudos first is what we can do. Whoops. Not, not mean to get hit by that there. Well. Well, I mean. Yeah, those ones are super slow moving. And we go Ooh, around a here. Black hole. A digital better black hole. It. Yeah, better hack around the digital black hole. Wouldn't want to get pulled into that, huh? Boop. Go ahead and take out that. I always used to really enjoy these as a as a kiddo, actually. All right. Whoops. Oh, does it not actually even damage me? Because I went in by accident there. What damaged me there? I guess an enemy came out like right that moment. Wacky. Well, how about you guys just don't? Whoops. I'm not as good at this as I used to be as a kiddo. That's for sure. Well, boop. And then boop. Cool. Another terminal terminated. <laughs> You've just been terminated. Oh, I wanted to land on that bit of the windmill. Whatever. Welp. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> so, we're going to... Looks like we're going to this one next, okay? So, up we go. Neat. Don't worry, my pet. I'll make this quick and painless. <laughs> well, time for some more hacking. Boop. How about you don't? How about you stamp? Oh, my goodness. That snipe on me, though. Stamp. Definitely not as good at this as I used to be forever ago. Definitely not. I mean, it's also tricky to aim the thing exactly the way that you need sometimes. Oop. And we go grab this one. So let's just see. Okay, it can damage me. But it's just the little hits. It's not like an instant kill kind of thing. Okay. Whoa. Through here we go. Sneak through the thing we're bobbing. These ones shoot and move. And take a couple hits. Which is irksome. Whoa! Whoa! Time for the little mini boss battle of sorts. I mean, we don't even necessarily have to defeat that. We can just, you know, take out the wall over there. But it'll be a little bit easier with it out of the picture. So, I mean, there's a whole lot of bullets. The Sly, the closest thing Sly will ever have to freaking bullet hell. Ow, ow, ow. No! I was literally about to go into the thing. There's no invincibility frames in this or anything like that. Like, no period of invincibility after getting hit, so... I just got shrekt. My goodness. Okay. Boop. Jeez, it's so hard to, like, aim exactly where... Where I need to. Here, sometimes. Go take the keys. Oi, come on. Get out of there. There we go. Turn around. There we go. And we sneak on through here. Like this. Cool. Whoa. Dang, I was kind of stuck there. Oh my, my ears. Boop. Keep aiming roughly at that center thing while fighting everybody here. Come on. Come on, the thing is about to open. There we go. Cool. Excellent. Now for the aircraft control tower. Once it's hacked, the system will be mine. All mine. All right, up this way we go. Yeah, this is totally an accurate depiction of how runways work. But yeah, both artery clogging American putting popcorn with you right now. Nice, nice. I haven't actually had popcorn in like forever. You have to use your auxiliary afterburner Whoa. to get over to that computer. Jump as far as you can towards it, then go to the afterburner. Done. Aha, well, my final opponent. My final opponent. Looks like okay. the big code for last. Have at thee. The big code for last. Have at thee. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, how about you don't? How about you just don't do that? Whoa. Whoa. 
You hit it out of America food. It tastes so good, but it's bad for you. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right. Breakthrough here. Nice. Oh, my. Oh, and these dudes have the keys. Is a thing. So I'm going to need to take them out. Breakthrough here. And the orange guys are pursuing me. Oh, I was trying to dodge there. Oh, you don't. Uh, oh, I was going to take the key. It didn't let me. Fine, we're taking this one. We're taking that one first and foremost. And we take this one. Big spins. Ow. I actually think the last one might have been harder. <laughs> but, oh, uh, well. Success! I've got total access. Wait, the, the code's unstable. Everything's speeding up! Yes, because the thing powered by wind is going to suddenly speed up when it gets more power. And be like that. Just going to direct more electricity to it. It's going to spin faster. That's totally... <laughs> Windmill throwing stars, eh? This little system bug might come in handy. That's a pretty major bug to turn windmills into throwing stars. But that's now a tool in our arsenal. 